welcome to this week's video. This week we're going to be talking about Yule, I guess. <laughs> if you actually want to watch a video on Yule or, and the winter solstice, I will put my video from last year below. I was going to do a pagan parenting Yule video, but it was too close to winter solstice. So instead, we're going to dive into one of the various things that some people could argue that the Christians, once again, stole from the pagans. Now, this is a running theory, something that you can easily find and research online, in various books, etc. The question is, is Odin the real Santa Claus? Now, you might be thinking, there are a lot of various traditions from around the world and different pagan traditions and religions that could be given to Santa Claus or be taken and made into Santa Claus and that's true and that's why I'm just going to give like a short little tidbit about Yule and then a short little tidbit about Saint Nicholas who be, later became Santa Claus or Santa Claus and then we'll talk about the parallels with Odin all right let's get to it so Yule or the winter solstice or mid winter solstice whichever way you want to call it happens between the 21st and 22nd more again more information is below and during this of course yule comes from the a word a dramatic word called jewel and this is all going to be very dramatic nordic tradition based this whole video so at yule we celebrate winter and the rebirth of the sun and the goddess gives birth to the oak god who or oak king rather which is a god of the waxing sun. And then the Holly King is defeated and returns to the underworld and does not come back until summer solstice. Now, Holly King. Boom, boom. All right, we got some right there. So, at you we mourn the passing of the Holly King, the old god who has other names such as Odin, Holly Quinn, and now Santa Claus. Um, he's portrayed as old man with a beard, majestic, sometimes jolly, and is shown as a king and is the god lord of death and of the spirit world and magic. He also is related to being the god of the forest uh, animals in the hunt and is often shown with antlers and horns huh i can think of a lot of christmas decor that is related to everything i just said now we already know that the christmas tree and all that kind of stuff already well that's for a different video i was actually going to do about the christmas tree but i found this to be a little more fascinating so we already see this all right so before I get into this, I want to say, why don't you look up pictures of the Holly King or Odin Yule? Because it'll make you think of like the old classic pictures of Santa Claus. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about St. Nicholas. So St. Nicholas was a bishop from the fourth century originating from Turkey. Some say third, fourth century. It really doesn't matter. His feast day is December 25th. Uh, he would give gifts to the poor, prostitutes, and other children that were in, people that were in need um, around Europe. And then he derived the name Santa Claus later on, but first got Santa Claus in, from the Dutch and Germanic areas. So, yeah, that is the story of St. Nicholas, who then became Santa Claus. Now, how is Odin Santa Claus? Well, a lot of you might be wondering, like, wait, isn't he, like, the god of, like, war and, like, hunts and is known to be a pretty vicious kind of guy there, you know? Um, well... That is all true, but there is a softer side to good old Odin. So, obviously, that Odin was a deity in various Germanic tribes, Norse mythology, Vikings, etc., you know. And 
there is one tradition, one folklore story, whatever you want to call it, in which he travels in the sky on the night of winter solstice with his eight-legged horse named Stepner. Now, children would leave boots out for Stepner filled with grass, carrots, other treats, and then Odin would replace that with treats and can like candy and gifts for the children. So you can see some parallels here. Um, Santa Claus has eight reindeer. Odin had an eight-legged horse. Santa Claus travels around the world on Christmas Eve and gives gifts. People leave out stockings for good old St. Nicholas and they leave out cookies and milk for the reindeer and Santa Claus. Yeah, I, I, I'm seeing a parallel here. Now, what about the way they look? Okay, well, Odin sometimes, was, or most times, was portrayed with a beard. Um, he didn't wear red all the time. <laughs> but neither did St. Nicholas or Santa Claus originally. Um, Odin was portrayed as jolly when he was doing this kind of stuff. But was it always portrayed as jolly? He also lived in the Great North in a very frozen area. And Santa Claus lives in the North Pole. Um, and then think about this, which this is for a whole other video, which I plan on doing in the future. When Christianity came into power, they tried taking various aspects of paganism and putting it into their already traditions and things that they were doing to try and get pagans into their side besides just killing them. I mean, come on, they, there was some good. They didn't want to kill all of us. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. But, so they took various traditions to bring it in. Plus it was already part of their traditions, especially like, for example, this, the Germanic traditions um, and like that area had the Odin tradition. So here they find out they have the Sinterklaas, the Saint Nick. Why don't we bring in some aspects of the Holly King and Odin? Makes perfect sense. Now, when did Santa Claus then start looking more like the modern Santa Claus and not so much like Odin or a normal person. Well, many of you might say the 1930s Coca-Cola ad because that's what a lot of people contributed to. However, uh, there was a 18... I'm trying to remember the number. I think I have it written in my notes here. 1881 cartoon uh, by Thomas Nast, in which they added the pounds onto St. Nicholas or Santa Claus. And then in 1930, the Coca Cola ad, that's when the red suit, the rosy cheeks, and all that was added. And that's when you have the Santa Claus of now. Before that, there really wasn't much distinction between Santa Claus and Odin. So, now, if you see, like, older pictures of Santa Claus, Charlie Old St. Nicholas, he looks very much like Odin and Holly King himself. Um, there's sometimes wreaths with antlers, and that's why I said earlier, look up pictures of the Holly King and Odin with Winter Solstice added in, with like long white hair and a beard, but he's not big. He's got sharp features usually, not a round little nose and little red cheeks or anything like that. It, it, the older photos are very similar to this and has uh, the holly around him and the um, again, like antlers and very, and the, what you think of Christmas, that's very, like that rustic, like, you know, farmer type, like, like country type of Christmas feel, I guess you could say. 
that's kind of what you'd find. And that's very similar. Like Odin was known to wear long robes and, and so was Santa Claus. Long flowy robes and um, there wasn't much difference at all. Besides Odin, there's also different Dutch, Nordic, German, whatever of that area traditions that do go into the creation of how we see St. Nicholas and Santa Claus, including the clay pipe and the elf idea, which are different traditions um, and going down chimneys. But again, we're Santa Odin. So my question to you then is, what are your thoughts? Do you think that this was another thing that the Christians took um, and put into their own religion? I mean, there are many Christians that do admit that Jesus was not born on December 25th. And it's strange, too, because the Feast of St. Nicholas was supposed to be that day. And I believe that was before they deemed that Jesus was born on that day. Um, and there are Christians out, like, out there who are saying, like, Santa Claus is evil, Santa Claus is derived from paganism. Don't get into the Santa Claus Christmassy thing. So, it, it is interesting. Like, there's the Holly King and Odin and all of that. So, I'd like your thoughts. And like I said, I didn't go too in-depth. I just gave, like, the main parallels there. Uh, so, if you have more information, put it below. Uh, if you have other traditions uh, that go into the creation of Santa Claus from various pagan folklore traditions or even just Germanic, Nordic, Dutch type uh, traditions that went into this, like I mentioned with the clay pipe and everything, go ahead and leave it down below. And, uh, you know, so. I just think when you think of the man, man with the white beard and the holly crown and even a pipe with a long white beard, that's probably the holly king or, and or Odin, not Santa Claus. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this short video and um, please check out my shop. I do have a sale until the 20th yeah the day before solstice and then um all my orders are sent out within 24 hours and if something if something goes wrong with packaging because i know sometimes like whatever i will send something back for free i i'm really good at that with tarot readings you can always email me or check out on my facebook page uh all my social media and all that will be below as well as my yule video from last year and again Please like, subscribe, share, and please let me know your thoughts. Do you think that Odin is Santa Claus? And if you have more information, put it below. Because like I said, I just gave like the main parallels. So with that, I love you. And I hope you all have a blessed holiday, whatever holiday you celebrate. If you celebrate one at all. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.